Ricochet! Keep low! Fuck! Once every thousand years, a dog is born who encapsulates power, focus, confidence, intensity, grit, insane athletic ability, and a kind heart. Watch it. Today we learned all about the first dog in history to attain the title of Ultimate Puppy. Puck. Our work loves clashing with an opponent more than anything else. Anytime, anywhere, he is up for the challenge. Giving it his all and ignoring what stands in his way. He enters the melee because he feels with every fiber of his being, it is the true expression of who he is. This allows him to meet these challenges with focus, determination, and a heart that is free of fear and hatred. He can be thrown in a store, brought to a school, traverse a narrow walkway, or deal with going up and down stairs, all while staying committed to our battle. This makes simple protection scenarios enjoyable and effortless for Ulrich. Not acting out of fearful defense, he can keep a cool, clear head until it's time for action. If this was all there was to Ulrich, he would be a quality Malinois. But to have the title of the modern Malinois requires much, much more. I could have had any dog in Ulrich's litter. I chose him for three reasons. He was the first puppy in his litter to run around to his dad's kennel and bark at him trying to challenge Rocky. That showed he had tenacity and courage. Second, when doing food training with him, he would ignore pieces of kibble I dropped. When most puppies would get lost sniffing for them, he kept his focus on me knowing the big handful jackpot would come through our interaction. That showed he was smart enough and social enough to understand how to get big rewards, not waste time searching for small ones. Not even loud noises and a host of puppies could distract Auric from his target. Third, I loved his muscle structure. Even as a young pup, his muscle insertions were full and shapely, indicating he'd be a powerful, stable adult. After only a week of being home with three-month-old Auric, he could bark three different ways on command, at me, while holding a position, and at a target. This was just the beginning. As an adolescent, he blew through the training sleeves, becoming so powerful by one and a half years that he had to be put on the Belgian suit. This bite at only 12 months old on the Mondio suit left this bruise on the decoy's leg. It was at this point that Auric became the first dog in history to be bestowed the title of Ultimate Puppy. Maybe you should think twice before mugging someone. Us! As Auric grew into an adult, his fearless tenacity melded with his intelligence and love of engaging with others. This forged a dog who loves to be around people and other dogs. <laughs> One who can give his entire being to the pursuit of his target. Give him a slap on his thigh. Through the storm of his immense drive. Oh, Poopy don't care. Poopy has the ultimate focus because he's a poop pop. Us. The ability to excel in protection work and high-level obedience, to be trustworthy around children and other dogs, to be able to do all this in any environment, this is what propelled Ulrich to a new title. A title for a dog who isn't neurotic, doesn't always have to be working, and can actually bite like a maniac without leaving prey drive. Ulrich gained the ultimate title, becoming the modern Malinois. Ulrich is at the upper end of a male Malinois. He's about 78 pounds, depending on the season. This is as big as a Malinois should be because any bigger and performance starts to suffer. Their endurance, their agility, their ability to jump over high obstacles is negatively impacted if they get too big. We're about to embark on a Polaris adventure. Yeah. Even at 75 pounds, Auric can still run a 5K in under 10 minutes. That's averaging over 20 miles an hour. And this is the pace that he sets. Not me cracking some proverbial whip, egging him on to get him to go faster. He can also maintain a top speed of 36 miles per hour for six seconds. I'm 6'2", 
and he's almost as tall as I am. Look at this boy. Look at that hip extension. He has poop up thighs. Mwah. As you know, all of my dogs have a name, a nickname, a title, and a job description. He is Ulrich Tandreov Andrikci. His nickname is the Poop Pup. His title is the Modern Malinois because he exemplifies what a Malinois should be. And his job description is the Puppy Master. He is fantastic with young dogs. He knows how to put them in check without hurting them. <laughs> He's standing up as tall as he can. <laughs> and remind them that life is about having fun. Besides all the amazing attributes Ulrich possesses, one of my favorite things about him is he's just so much fun to be around and have as a dog. <laughs> Obedience with the snowball. Circle. He's like, that's some bull. Boom! He's phased. He's phased. Ulrich also makes his grooming time pretty effortless. He allows me to bathe him. I get him all soaked up, rubbed down, make sure to give him some head scratches, some good massage time. He doesn't particularly enjoy getting a bath, but he puts up with it and he lets me get it done so he can be a clean squeaky poop pup. He even lets me dry him off with a towel because he's poop pup. Brushing is a breeze. With a shorter Malinois coat, I only need to brush him about twice a week. Also, the nails, no big deal. I will use a grinder since he has a black quick and it allows me to still get them pretty trimmed up and close. He's poop pup. Day in and day out, Ulrich is always in a good mood. He works hard, but plays even harder. Ulrich is the perfect dog for me because he makes me a better person, a better trainer. We sharpen each other. He is strong, confident, self-assured, a predator that is driven to get what he wants. Ulrich is oozing with intensity. But that doesn't mean he can't play well with other people safely. Us. Fuck. The real danger is getting covered in slobber. <laughs> <We're done. laughs> his intensity plus his confidence doesn't make him insecure. Another dog can get the better of him and he pops right up ready to continue in a playful manner. <laughs> or can also entertain himself. I can work on the couch, and he can have a great time playing with the toy. I still don't know how he manages to fit under there. We've spent this entire video highlighting all the amazing attributes Ulrich has, which allow him to perform at the highest level. But he's also a very affectionate boy. He loves getting snuggles and belly rubs. Being chill and self-assured, examinations are stress-free whether at home or at the vet. I have a secret unique ritual with all of my dogs. With Ulrich, every morning I let him back inside after going to the bathroom and he gets to smell my morning breath. The deal is he can stick his nose almost in my mouth so long as he doesn't touch me or lick me. I want to try to, uh, out of here with it. Bro, you got on backwards? <sighs> 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 <sighs>